Hello everybody, welcome to this video whose topic is learning skills in Clio. And we're basically going to talk about what types of learning skills do you need to know about before you take the TKT Clio test and as you prepare for the test itself. Um, so learning skills and strategies. When we talk about learning skills and strategies, what are we really talking about? Well, a lot of this has already been covered in the videos that we recorded before in which we addressed language skills and cognitive skills. We talk about Bloom's taxonomy and skills related to teaching language. We were all talking about learning skills because students need those skills to learn. But this is a broader term. And when we mention learning skills or learning strategies, we also include another type of skills, another type of skill or other types of skills that relate to developing student autonomy. What do we mean by that? We mean that we want to teach our students to be self-learners, to be able to learn independently, not to just depend on us teachers in order to learn. So what skills are we talking about when we talk about learner autonomy and learning strategies and skills in general? Well, as you can see here, there's a table listing a few of them. And we've grouped them into four different strands or, or groups. Learning together, managing information, writing and reading, learning to learn. So when it comes to learning together, students, when students cooperate, when they lead, when they make decisions, when they resolve conflicts or delegate jobs or tasks, they are practicing skills of learning together. Managing information, they have to find information, organize it, listen to information, define something, describe something that they find. This is all related to managing information. Reading and writing is more obvious when we are writing drafts or editing, revising. All those tasks relate to um, reading and writing. And also they extend to paraphrasing, summarizing, etc. In learning to learn, which has to do with learner autonomy. When students investigate, when they manage data, when they take notes, find patterns, chunk, maybe look up a definition in a dictionary, seek help when needed uh, by asking the teacher or their classmates, those are all skills that go under learning to learn. So let's see some practical applications of these skills and strategies. So one example here, so let's talk about animal adaptation. If they're doing a project, first of all, they need to find information on animals and their adaptations. Then they need to cooperate in order to make sense of this information. And sometimes they'll need to summarize that information if they're working on a project or a text or something that they will present. And of course, Presenting itself is a skill. So this is an example from animal adaptations, which is a science-related concept. Now let's look at another example. This other example relates to a student's learning how to solve a math problem. So they need to seek help. If they're, uh, if they're doing the problem by themselves, they need to seek help of the teacher or peers. If they're doing it in groups, so, of course, they're going to turn to their peers first. They need to scan the problem for key information. They need to organize that information that they find. They need to describe the information that they find. And those are some examples of what they need in order to solve a math problem. So what we need to understand here is that each task that the students uh, are going to, to try to solve or work with will require certain types of learning strategies and skills. So if you want to learn more about this topic, uh, remember the clear resources that we recommend. Uh, the one in the middle, the TKT course clear module is specifically designed to help you with the course. And the one right to the right side of it, a TKT content and learning integrated, content and language integrated learning handbook for teachers is a free material that you can download from the Cambridge website. Just Google the name and you will find it. Uh, the other books are books that I really, really suggest um, that you acquire in order to prepare for the TKT Clear Test. That's it for this video. See you in the next one. Bye.